are you guys ready? All right, I'm Jill Bellman, and I am the CEO of Imagine LA. And a lot of people don't think of homelessness as a woman's issue. But these days, you can just keep going. These days, over a third of the homeless population are made up of families. And those families, about 80% of them, are headed by women. Now, I thought you might like to have an idea about Los Angeles and why we imagine it as possibly a place where there are no homeless children or no homeless families. We're the homeless capital of the world. We've got 254,000 homeless nights a year for people. That translates to almost every, in, on a given night, about 90,000 people are sleeping not in a bed that they'll probably sleep in tomorrow. They'll sleep wondering where they're going to sleep the next day. A third of those our families, 9,500, that's about 20-something thousand children, along with a parent or possibly two parents. The cost of homelessness is also extraordinary to our population. We think about it, oh my god, the kid doesn't know, isn't going to school, or they don't have enough to eat, but we also, the cost our government and to our society is enormous. And we need to think about that when we're thinking about homelessness. So, 80% of homeless families are headed by a female. And with Imagine LA, 74% of our families are headed by a female. What happens in, in homelessness and why is it such a pervasive issue? Well, especially, especially in the last five years, we've had an economic downturn and we've had and one economic event. A, wo a woman, a family loses a job, there's a health care incident, there's, uh, they're beaten and they can't work anymore, they fall into addiction, they can't work anymore and they fall out of housing. So it's a crisis. Please go back. It's a crisis. And then the homelessness. And then they get into shelter. And then they get into housing. And that's when our government and a lot of our local agencies stop. They get them into housing and then they're done. Well, if that family is all by themselves, without any new skills, without any safety net, without a community around them, what do you think the chances are they're going to get homeless again? About 25% at least. Well, that's what Imagine Life does. We come into the breach then. We match those families with a team of mentors. You could be on a team. It could be a team from a faith community, a team from a company, a team from a school, a team of people. We train them and we walk with them. They teach the moms budgeting, help them get on a career track, finish school. They get Each kid gets a mentor. They learn how to do meal planning and so forth. They walk with them for a minimum of two years, a minimum of one year, and a, and a max of two, although the mentors keep going. And Look what's happening. Out of 54 families in the last five years, 100% are still in housing. 100%. 75 have increased their income. And this income is income that's earned income. We're not talking about subsidized income. 33% of the school age kids have increased their grades. All of our kids are at grade level by the end of the first year. It's only 33, I always say that sounds low. It's only 33 because sometimes only a couple kids are behind in a family. What's the answer? 100% of the participants are adults. Uh, everybody's going up. Okay, go. 
Bream there. Bream, DB, addiction, no job, now has full-time job, $8,000 in the bank, citizenship, support us, help us help these families exit poverty for good.